Hiya! One of the Inktober prompts this year was not, and I wasn't really sure what to do with it. I, I really had no idea what to do with it. So I guess I'm just gonna cop out and do a Celtic knot and I've never done one before. So it will be a bit of a challenge and I'm gonna try to do it as a pumpkin. <laughs> so, oh, wait a minute. You can always tell I was doing finishing touches on a previous drawing. <laughs> when I open it up and I got a big brush and a small opacity. Okay, so yeah, I was thinking I would draw it like a pumpkin. The way Celtic knots work, as far as I know, we'll do like a little leaf at the end. Let me sketch this in first. Is um, you kind of make them look like they're ribbons, but they also have like this infinite look to them. Why did I draw the leaf first? What a terrible decision. I also have my brush smaller. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna draw a pumpkin and then I'm gonna draw a little stimmy with a leaf thing and I'm gonna try to make it into a Celtic knot and we'll see how it goes. I think Celtic knots, knots also have kind of a very strict cemetery. Ce wow, <laughs> cemetery? Symmetry to them. So I'm gonna try to abide by that. So we'll get this little thing here and I want like a little leaf here. Yeah, so now we have to turn this into a Celtic knot. There might be tutorials out there on how to draw Celtic knots. I have never watched one. Okay, so idea number one. <laughs> is we're, we're gonna rough this in and then I'll go in with my trusty pen tool and try to fix it up. We'll have this be kind of just its own circle to contain it and I think that'll be okay. I'll probably make this like just a perfect oval in the end. Like I said I'm just gonna try to sketch out the initial design. If my hand will work it won't so <laughs> we'll have a messy side over here that's okay. Okay uh yeah so we'll have this like that and then we'll have some like Thing where this might go. Um, hmm. Hum, hum, hum. I guess we'll just kind of do. I've got a couple Celtic knot things up on the side here, and a lot of them have this thing where you go like that, and then you go up, you go like that, and then you go down. No, wait, how does it work? <laughs> okay, wait, I've messed up. I'm gonna command Z it. I'm gonna command Z it all the way back to the top. So it goes down. And that's a point and it goes over here and that's a point and then it goes over here and that's a point so this like this this like this and then uh i guess i should make this a little bit more even so if this is hitting on this side right here this one will hit on here and go up but then that's not very even man this is harder than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> okay let me uh if we have one here let's just draw these as shapes to start with and then i can fix it later and then one here and this seems like a typical Celtic knot design. Maybe this is poor someone made this one once and then everyone copied it. <laughs> Possibly. And then within these, they kind of curl around each other. Um, so now I just got to figure out how to fill this space. Uh, let's do, like maybe each one of these goes out and goes into a reverse one of these. We could figure that out. This is going to be a fun challenge, <laughs> I thought. Uh, and then this one could go down here. So like that. Uh-huh. And then within these we can have maybe something that goes up and around and then connects them. And then this will go down and up. No. I like it going up and around. How do I do that? <laughs> Let me copy it over here first. I could do this one. Up and around and connect them. Maybe I should figure out one symmet symmetry first and then figure out the other one. Up, around, and connect. Up, around, and connect. Up, around, and connect. Up, around, and connect. And then this one would be up, around. I'll, we'll have to do it the other way. <laughs> uh, up, around. Wait, how do I do it the other way? Up, around, and connect. No. <laughs> hmm. I need something in that space. These are kind of triangular as it is. So maybe what I'll do is somehow make it so there's these little loopy things in there. Like that, like that. Like that, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, I think this could be the element that we go with. You guys are probably thinking like, this looks nothing <laughs> like a Celtic knot. I know, I plan to go in later with my pencil and I'm, I'll probably record it too so you guys can see me bubbling through that and figuring that out. Okay, so these will be like doubled and then they'll connect in here somehow like that or something. Maybe if I'm fancy enough I can get them to go around within this. We could just have something that like goes like that. So it goes up and down and then goes in this one up and down and then goes in this one up and down. Do this one up and down. Whoops. This one up and down. This one up and down and this one uh, up and down. Like that. Okay. It's a horrible mess but I can kind of see the 
design in it, you know what I mean? All right, I'm going to take this now. Uh, I, I don't know how much I'll do with the mic on, <laughs> but let's, uh, so let me, I want this to be pretty symmetrical. So I might, uh, I don't know, whoops. <laughs> you hit enter every other time, except when you're using this tool. Okay, so I might go in and just kind of uh, work on getting this. Like something like that would be the start and uh, shrink it in. I think the computer will make this <laughs> a little bit of a blessing for me because if you did this on paper, you'd have to figure this all out first. I'm not big brained enough for that. So yeah, this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through now with the pen tool. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more uh, refined. This is already losing its symmetry. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. I can fix that like this secret trick this and this if I can grab this CV flip horizontally and then we just connect these um, shrink this up so it won't bother it Let's shrink this and then we'll connect them like that perfect computer hacks <laughs> did this make a secondary one yes why did you do that computer now you better Okay, so I'm gonna go through like that and I'm gonna make them symmetrical and then I'm gonna figure out which one goes over which one. I'll make these lines a bit thicker here so that they'll show better in the video and I'm just gonna speed through them. Mm, two points? Yeah, too much. One point. Yeah, so I'm just gonna speed through. Can I do 1.5? Nice. <laughs> All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll just speed through it now and I'll meet you back once I've figured this out. Just, just looked at my reference and did it. So it's a bit of a cop out, <laughs> but uh, you know, it also it's starting to look a little bit like a Celtic knot. So you just kind of have to. It seemingly you just have to kind of go through and make these look like ribbons. So that like this one goes over here, goes under here, goes over here, goes under, over, <laughs> under, and then I've come up here. It'll go under this one, and um, then we're gonna move on to like the little ones of these and yeah so now I gotta figure out the new thing um, I'm gonna have to somehow wrap this around so we can do these <laughs> but it's coming off this, this is where it's at so far it's without the sketch <laughs> okay I'll meet you back when I made even more progress okay this is this is where I'm at now I made one of these and then I kind of copy paste <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't perfectly symmetrical at the beginning but I think it's okay um, yeah so that's where I'm at now. I just have to figure out what to do here. If I'm going to possibly go like down to this one and then up to this one, you know, kind of thing or not. <laughs> I don't know. And I got to figure out how to match this one up because this one matches beautifully. And this one's like meh, over here. <laughs> so yeah, that's my current challenge. We'll see how it goes. All right. I think this is how I'm going to connect it. It looks a little confusing, but um, all this, like this one is connected to this one, which is connected to this one, which is connected to this one, which is connected to this one. And then it circled back to this one. I kind of like did an upside down, you know, like the stars that you did when <laughs> you're like a kid like that. That's kind of how it's connected. So yeah. So now I just have to sort out like which goes over and which goes under and um, like smooth like this one out. So it goes there. Uh, I was going to have the these go through these top ones and I guess I'll have them probably just go through these too. So I gotta smooth it out and figure it out but uh, it's hopefully coming along. This is probably like the worst way <laughs> to draw Celtic knots by the way. Don't, don't do what I did. <laughs> go look up a tutorial. I bet there's smart people out there that are like yes this is the easy process. But not me. Not me. I take the challenge. <laughs> well we'll see you in a minute. Okay I'm kind of confusing myself and I accidentally messed up some lines that I'm gonna have to fix but I think I'm in the end game now so I just have to figure out you know I just have to even these out like this one goes up here and touches that I have to go through and even them all out on their sides and I might do one more like independent circle here or something just to fill this space but I, I see it I see the end game <laughs> 
And uh, I'm, what I might do is my final thing might be what connects to this instead of having this big metal one. But those are my ideas. I'll meet you back on the other side when I've finished. Yeah. Okay. It's actually the next morning. <laughs> Cause I kind of like would finesse with this and leave and finesse with this and leave, but I'm done now. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I decided not to do any extra things here. Um, cause I just kind of liked the open space here. You know, I, I liked it enough that I didn't want to, uh, like risk it, I guess I'll say. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it with its paths. This is it with its lines. And then I add a little bit of color in it just to kind of, I don't know, make it, make it look a little more showcased, but yeah. So I kind of broke some rules on like, you know, sometimes it goes under twice <laughs> instead of like under over, under over everything. I don't know if that's like a hard rule for Celtic knots. I literally don't know anything about them, but I'm happy with how it came out and I'm happy I tried this challenge and yeah, fun little Inktober art challenge. So anyways, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode.